Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Be Alright by Dean Lewis. Capo, fourth fret. Alright. By putting the capo at the fourth fret, we've made this a uh, really easy song. <laughs> Alright, we're going to mimic, mimic, mimic the uh, piano. E minor to a C to a G and D slash F sharp. We're going to repeat that. E minor, C. D with the F sharp in the bass, and then C to an E minor to a D twice. C to E minor, D, and then just hit the D, and his friend said, So that's your verse right there, okay? So E minor, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, second fret. We're just going to hit it once. I'm going to pivot to a C chord, 5th uh, string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 1st fret, that's my C chord. Uh, the G chord is 6th string, 3rd fret, 5th string, 2nd fret, and then the 1 and 2 strings at the 3rd fret. And then my D with the F sharp in the bass, just a regular D, so 3rd uh, string, 2nd fret, 1st string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 3rd uh, fret, my thumb is going to wrap around 6th string, 2nd fret, okay? And I think that's, oh, and then you just need a regular D chord. So in this case, instead of having my thumb wrap around, I just mute it. So I just lean into it just a little bit. So that's my D chord. And those are all the chords you need, the five chords you need for the song. The two different ways to play the D and then the E minor, C, and G. That's it. So. That's your verse. This is the part where he looks up from the ground to her sad and teary eyes and looks away and there's something she's trying to hide. So, so the first part, we're just doing E minor, let it ring for four beats, C, four beats, uh, G for four beats, the D with the F sharp in the bass. We're going to repeat that. E minor to a C and then the G, D slash F sharp. Uh, now we're going to try and keep uh, the more instruments come in and we're going to just do just four downs per measure. So a C for four, E minor for four, they're all just down. This is D, this time it's going to be for eight. And then C for four, E minor for four, D for four, and then the fifth one, you hit it, let it ring. Okay, so that's your verse, that whole part. Uh, then his friend said, E minor to a C to a G D slash F sharp or a B E minor to a C and G D slash F sharp. Okay, so that's the chorus, and uh, you do that two times in a row. So that's uh, it's like the beginning part of the song, uh, except here we have a strum pattern. So down, 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 up on E minor. Same thing on the C. G, uh, G, same thing, E slash F sharp, same thing. This is the part where his friend said, I know you love her, but it's over me. And then put your phone away. E minor to C, and then G to D slash F sharp. Okay, so you're well on your way to whole, knowing the whole song. Because at this point, the verse comes back. We've already talked about that. You do that all again. Then the chorus, which we just talked about, they do it two times this time. So instead of repeating it twice, you repeat it four times. I think there's different words, but it's still just that pattern. Uh, then you got your bridge, which is the same sort of chords. It's like E minor. This is the part, uh, uh, nothing heals. Uh, don't remember what the words are, but um, it's that slower part. And it's just E minor to C, to G, and then D. And uh, you repeat that pattern four times. You can, you, can, you can start doing this, like on the third time, if you wanted to. And the fourth time, you create a little bit more energy in the song. You know, and that's, that's the bridge. So that's the nothing heal. And that's just E minor, C, G, and D. 
So really it's that same, we have that same thing coming back. This time we just didn't put the F sharp under the D. That's all. Then you have the chorus again, and then the chorus again. So it's like you're repeating it four times instead of two. And then you have your outro uh, is the uh, E minor to C, G, to D. You're going to repeat it. E minor to C, and then G to D, and then you end on an E minor chord. And that's the whole song. All right? So I'm sure you'll have no trouble matching that up with the song. Uh, it's really is pretty easy to play along with the video even. And you get your capo with the fourth fret, you'll be in this key. All right? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, hit that like button. You know you liked it. Thanks. Play more guitar.